Hello, I'm Maria Granger. I'm a lecturer for Worcester College of Technology. This is my model, Sue. Today, we are going to go through the techniques of a uniform layered cut. To start with, we need to section the hair off into a hot cross bun. So if we take from the front of the hairline down to the nape of the neck, and then move from the top of the hair down to the ear. And again on this side, section down from the top of the hairline to the ear. This will give us a hot cross bun effect. Okay, from here we can take a centimetre sections across to allow for our first cut. The principle of a uniform layer cut is to keep the hair at a 90 degree angle all the way around the head. So we will pull out the hair at each section, it will be at a 90 degree angle in a uniform layer. So this first cut is very important because this is going to be our guideline. It is important when cutting the hair to make sure that each hair strand is combed through evenly and smoothly. So on our first section this will determine the length of the hair. So from consultation we've decided that we're going to take about half an inch off all the hair. So working through the cut we're going to follow that line round Okay, from this first section, I'm just going to get the client to pop their head slightly forward and comb the hair down to make sure that all of the hair strands are nice and even. By doing this on this first section, we often find that there's pieces of neck hair which tend to grow slightly longer. So by combing these down, it will just make sure you take all those little ends off. Okay, from there then that's going to be the guideline. So we'll take another section, about a centimetre thick again, making sure that all the sections are nice and straight. And now we begin the uniform layer. So from the centre of the hair, I'm going to pull the hair straight out at a 90 degree angle. And I can see in there a guideline from where I've cut before. I'm going to pull that straight out and then cut. As you can see, the section that I've taken is at a 90 degree angle from the head. I'm working through the hair again, another centimetre section, pulling through, and there I can see a guideline where I've got to cut through. And this principle will be used throughout the whole of this cut. As we start to move up the head on each section and you must be aware that the head is a round shape so every section that we bring out must be parallel to where we are on the, the head. Okay, when we move up, we're taking 
the same angle through the top of the head. So as we can see from this cut now, we have a 90 degree angle from the nape of the neck up to the crown. Okay, now I'm going to turn myself at a slightly different angle when I come to take the sides of the cutting. Up until now, I've been stood behind the head, taking the hair out at a 90 degree angle, because now I'm gonna blend through from the back of the head into the side of the head. I need to pull this section out at this angle. to make sure that we get the uniform layer cut running through the sides of the hair as well. Okay, and then the same at this angle here. Up until now, I've been stood behind the back of the client, pulling out at a 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to take the side sections out at a 90 degree angle to follow the line of the cut through to the sides. Because the client's hair is a shorter length at the sides. I'm still gonna follow through and give myself a new guideline. And the actual length at the nape of the neck, I cut about half a centimetre off. So I'm now gonna do the same with the length of the sides. Take about half a centimetre off. Still using a club cut and using a straight line, cutting through. Because now I have such a different angle from the sides of the hair down to the nape of the hair. I have a piece of hair here that doesn't blend through so I'm just going to pull this at a 45 degree angle just to blend the sides, the length of the sides into the length of the nape of the hair. Keeping my sections nice and clean to comb down and again pull the hair out at a 90 degree angle making sure that all the hair and the hair shaft is nice and straight and look through and I can see I have a guideline to help me follow through with my cut. And again taking the next section through making sure I've got all the hair nice and straight and looking through again to see where my guideline is to cut through. To make sure that I've blended the side section of the hair into the back section of the hair, I'm going to cross check my cut by sectioning the opposite way to where I've cut. This will give me the two, ang the two sections so that they can be blended in together. Okay, and then just follow through exactly the same on the other side. Mm -hmm.